Is your screen protector broken? Welcome to iPhone Simplified, and I'm going to show you my favorite screen protector and how to replace it. First, you can see I have a broken screen protector on my new iPhone 14. I'm going to take off the screen protector, being careful to not get glass shards on myself. Highly recommend using a wet paper cloth or a wet towel to make sure there's as little glass as possible. Once that is off, I'm going to pop it out of its case. Once out of its case, I like to use the case as kind of a kickstand while I'm putting on the new one. I'm going to get back to the home screen and now you can see I have a clean screen, but it's not protected. So next I'm going to grab ESR tempered glass. Not too bad. You can find it in the link in the description below. And I'm just going to pull that out. Now, this kit comes with everything you need to do the screen protector. So I'm going to take off the top one, set the guide to the side, grab one of these black packs. There should be one for each screen protector in the box. And then grab my screen protector. The first step, once I have everything out, is going to be grab this black pouch, open it up, and we're going to grab the contents inside. Inside, you will find a wipe, a alcohol wipe, and a sticker. That sticker is going to come in handy, but first, we're going to grab the alcohol wipe and clean our phone. When doing the wipe, you can leave the screen on, but it may bug out. I would recommend turning it off for this process. You could even shut the phone off completely. However, I'm going to leave my screen on because it's easier for you guys to see. After the alcohol wipe, I'm going to take the microfiber cloth and again, just cleaning the screen. You can definitely see why you would want the screen off for all this, but again, it just makes it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Once your phone is nice and clean with the alcohol wipe and the microfiber, we're going to take the sticker, peel it off, and then starting away from us, we're just going to stick the phone and make sure there's no remaining dust. I recommend using a light to make sure all the dust is gone and looking at it in the reflection. Once you've made sure there's no dust on it, we're going to take the guide and place it on top. Again, I would double check that there is no glass shards or dust on it. And again, you just take a light, make sure it reflects. In this case, I'm using a nice big one or a brighter one, but you can use just your standard any light at home. Once your device is clean, now we're going to grab out the glass. The glass is going to be in a nice protective sheath, and it's going to have a film on one side and normal glass on the other. You can see there's a notch that goes to the speaker grill that lets us know what direction we need to go. So I'm going to peel it away from me, making sure it doesn't get dusty, and then lay it down. As I'm laying it down, I'm going to make sure it's centered and then just run my line straight across. As you can see, it lays flat, but when I pop it off and turn the screen off, you can see there's a bubble. Now, that bubble's easy enough to get rid of. We're just gonna take the microfiber and our wipe and wipe it away. And once that's wiped away, you can see all the bubbles are gone. There's a little dust just from messing around in some glass shards, but I have a nice clean screen protector. At this point, we can definitely put our case back on and we are good to go. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, 
and take some time to check out the links in the video description. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.